It has officially been one year since Devil's Advocate, my first mixtape, was released. That is absolutely crazy. I literally feel, and I said this to TJ yesterday, I feel like it was yesterday that, you know, we actually were listening to Binge Hours um, on the lead up to the release of the first mixtape. And... To, for that to be a whole year ago, that is absolutely crazy. 2020 has been a weird year and a fucking quick one as well. I honestly feel like it was yesterday I was writing Devil's Advocate. But yeah, it's been a year and I've released my second mixtape since then. I'm now working on the third one, maybe even the final one, which will include the track Devil's Advocate 3. So, and that's a confirmation for you guys right there. This this mixtape was a big, big deal for me. Like, Binge Hours wasn't as much of a big deal, especially once I started, to, once I let some time pass, I started to not like it at all. And I, I felt like I needed to redeem myself. So this was it. 17 tracks. Well, it was originally 16, but um, yeah, Devil's Advocate 2, uh, because of the coronavirus, got added in as a bonus track to Devil's Advocate, to the first mixtape. So, yeah, here we go. Oh, my God. Looking at some of these tracks, I'm going to be honest, I haven't listened to the entirety of the Devil's Advocate project for quite a while. I'd say, like, three, four months. I've gone, I've come back to certain tracks here and there because I am really proud of tracks, you know, like uh, Peace of Mind or... Um, don't be mad or imagination. Mainly imagination and peace of mind because uh, obviously I made sequels to those tracks in um, leftover residue. Same with sometimes. Um, Open therapy is kind of the sequel to that, at least instrumental wise. Anyway, they are very similar. So we are going to start off with the first track uh, intro. Uh, I wanted this. I, I remember using a very particular beat that I loved. A lot, I think it was the common logic beat. Whatever, let's get into it and let's listen to this shit. Holy crap, okay. Wow, look at this album cover. This was actually like sick. This was a really cool um, mixtape cover. This music's in my jeans like denim. Lyrics let's turn this down a little like bit. Denim. A few months and everything I said would happen had. I do a lot now, I'm writing these cold bars like Alcatraz. It's a nice flow. That's the main change. After binge hours. Like Devil's Advocate was really starting to find some flows. Everything I'm about to do, I'll own the right to boast. Coming through with this heat, knowing I will never be. I didn't stop till I knew this was complete. Meaning as much to me as my fucking heartbeat. These rappers can't compete with me because they're repetitive. I know that I'm competitive. Only because y'all put me to sleep like a sedative. It's past binge hour now. I'll blow your mind without a doubt. About time I drop this and come back. Competition's in a drought, yeah. I'm trying to write my wrongs, but it's funny them saying wrong. Tell That's a Kanye now. line. Kanye West. Music's in, like in my jeans like denim. Lyricism like denim. Lyricism's seeping in my venom. That's a logic I'm line from Soul Food. Woo! So yeah, I was paying homage right from the get-go with this track. Obviously using a logic beat as well. Oh shit, yeah, he went right into my imagination. Now, here's the thing about imagination. Uh, the beat doesn't exist anymore. It actually got deleted mere days, maybe like a week after the release of Devil's Advocate. That's crazy. That is actually really crazy. I'll probably upload the whole mixtape as one video at some point. Maybe, in the, maybe next year on the two-year anniversary. I don't know, maybe this year if I have the time. But I probably want to do it two years afterwards because then it, it would feel right, you know? Ooh. So this was the first Imagination. Imagination 2 was in the last, uh, in the second mixtape. A rose on the ashes like a phoenix. One day I'm a rose and rose filling up. Oh, I like that start. Imagination going insane. How the lot I got nice, but now I'm feeling like Bane. Drifting in and out of my mind, feel like I'm going insane. It's what I'm seeing a trick made just for my brain. I was born in the darkness. Hey, you can see my shadow. I got my body like a carpet. Nice. I feel so light. 
Finally, my chance, I'm in the spotlight, got the team on my back, shorty giving me random some concussion, cut the discussion, I'm just speaking my mind, putting it all in this rhyme, feel the vibes, feel the vibe, this is my time, let me prove I'm on a different level, I've known I'm worth it since people said I stand with the devil, yeah shit is different now, in a completely different mind state, too late, that's my grip on reality, now I'm stuck in my imagination, Ooh, so yeah, got, got good flows on this one, when you realize that you can imagine anything you'd ever want, and it's right there. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> Imagine a life without pain, so insane to think that I could create a whole world inside of my mind, and it's mine, oh mine, I'd be lying if I said... It's I very different from Imagination 2, isn't it? Because Imagination 2 was on leftover residue, and it was like a darker, much darker beat. This is a hopeful kind of beat, obviously. I wish you guys could listen to the proper beat, but it got deleted, unfortunately. Facts. I get up, I wake up, I'm yeah. vibing, buried alive in my mind, but I'm vibing, I could imagine I'm gliding, so excited, no overseas, take a beat, kill it with ease, I guess it's how it feels to have everything you've ever wanted, but it ever kid is get rich, have a bitch, then retire, now I can use this lucid dream of the way to get everything that I desire, I am the messiah of my own destiny, who wants this world inside of my conscience, oh shit yeah, yeah that's me, while I am unconscious, this world is just monstrous People judging you for being you, saying you're odd Well, that's nonsense, nonsense Feeling nauseous, they are just obnoxious uh, <laughs> I did the uh, a lot in the first two tracks, didn't I? My well, imagination is the pro first proper track I I'll let it slide I'm facing, even if it knocks me down, I get up I wake up, reality calling, I wake up, yeah uh, I wake up, yeah. uh, this part is where I yeah. uh, fucked up I a little, up, up, a lot of repetition, up, yeah. TJ uh, didn't like it, up, called it out from day one. It's a great track, that kind of ruins it, yeah. and that's why Imagination 2 up, is better than this. Not that this up. is a bad track by any means, yeah. it's one of my best tracks ever, up, but yeah, the ending part kind of uh, ruins it a little bit. What's next? Oh, Devil's Advocate's next, okay. My hair is a mess by the way, uh, it's been really stressful lately. And I haven't really had the time to wash my hair for a bit. Um, but I mean, it ain't too bad. Could be worse. Dang. Alright, here we go. The original Devil's Advocate track. From here. From here. It's got 70 views. I didn't check the other ones. Um, Imagination is 86. Uh, I'm not surprised though, because uh, a lot of people probably went back to that. After Imagination 2. Intro was 143. God damn. Is that the most viewed song on the whole thing? Yeah. Devil's Advocate 2 is pretty close though. 110. Okay. Uh, so this is Devil's Advocate. This has 70. Only 70. Yeah. But uh, yeah. in terms of all the tracks on the album. This might be one of the worst. I feel like I fucked up a little here. Um, the ending was a bit anticlimactic. I should have I should have wrote more for it. Yeah, speaking to the I kind of made myself overwhelmed with it. Fun fact, I wanted Devil's Advocate originally to release in November. That's why it uh, released so early in December. If I could go back, I would probably delay it up until near the end of December, which is what I'm doing with the third mixtape, except that was the plan from the get-go. The plan for Devil's Advocate was to release it in November, but... He didn't get to that, and, uh, yeah, I ended up rushing. Then I got ill in, like, the last week of November, so that fucked me up. And, uh, yeah, I ended up getting released on this day one year ago. Starting out with the fast one. Everybody wanna step up to me, they can, they can even hold a motherfucking candle to me. Yeah, it's that's why they be shaking Oddly them. fast. Dang. So I hold that every idea like a phantom. Compared to them, I'm the only one that is original, how pitiful. That's so few this long to know it's my suspicable. Yeah. Dang. Now tell me what you know about real That was life pretty life fast life. flow. Not like it wasn't right, it weren't perfect. There was obviously a few mistakes there, uh, in terms of delivery, but I mean that 
it ain't bad. Like, already it's better than anything on binge hours, so, you know. Facts. Trying to be a hater. Binge hours was done in a week. You couldn't do that, Christian. Binge hours was done in a week. Devil's Advocate was done in three months. And Leftover Residue was done in two and a half months. And then the third mixtape I'm trying to get done in a month, like less than a month. I think we're going to do it though. It's going to be the shortest album, the shortest mixtape. Um, it's going to be the shortest one. So I guess we'll see what happens. I'm I'm aiming for just thirteen tracks. But it's going to wrap everything up in a nice little bow. Oh yes, this year from now there'll be plenty of music to jam to. And there is, there's uh, the three tracks I released this year, which was Devil's Advocate 2, uh, uh, not that, uh, sorry, You Better Know, Sell Other Phones, and Confessions. And then you've got uh, the 18 tracks from Leftover Residue. Oh, Mickey, what could have been? Yeah, my competition can't see me because I don't own a mirror. I'm so <laughs> clear later on that I'm out of the side to get it right. I'm a good man, man of the year. I'm so bright, overcome everything. Oh, so, so optional. So you gotta come congratulate me. me. That's logical. Next, Next tape, tape, psychological. Tape see, I had I had the plan from the get go. Last year would have put me in a mental hospital, but I tell you right now, this devil's diabolical, you can correct. Tragical, yeah. damn. So yeah, I had the plan. I had uh, the plan for Leftover Residue right from the start. Like I knew that one, I knew I wanted that to be the second album. Obviously, I wanted to get it done a lot earlier in the year, but you know. Hold up, yo. If you know who you know. What the fuck do you call me, bro? From the think of it, you weren't fucking with me. This time last year, yeah, though, they tried to aggravate me. Fucked off. I ain't listened to this track in ages. I just torn it. Then they talk about the future, saying, I'm finna do this. I'm finna go do that. I'm finna make more rap. Yeah. I'm finna, I'm finna, no, I ain't fucking with that. Show me, do not tell me, cause you ain't nothing. If you ain't a man of your word, now stop getting cocky. Cause I'm the one gonna like a semi on a matter with a pen that I'm not coming across, so I'll put you in too static. Like, black one. It ends! What yeah. were you thinking? <laughs> Jordy ain't tripping out. <laughs> I need to bring that back. Uh. I need to bring Jordy ain't tripping out back. I mean, it's a blatant rip-off of Logic's Bobby Tarantino, um, 5 0 triple O. But, I mean, it's different words. I don't know. I might bring it back. Maybe in, uh, a future project. Not in the one I'm working on now. So, this one is a fan favourite. Don't be mad. Has all the, it's like 11 views away from 100. It's got 89 views. Don't be mad. Now, this was a remix to Bad Nehemiah's track, Colours. Uh, which you can't find now because he completely deleted it. Actually, I think I still have my reaction videos of um, Hills. No, it wasn't. It wasn't on Hills. It was on Laptop. I still remember. See, I'm an OG Nehemiah. Um, but yeah, this was the beat he used. Now I wanted to use it because it's a beautiful beat, and I fucking nailed it. This is one of the favorite tracks on the album um, from you guys, and to be honest, me as well. I think it's in my top three for the album. Along with peace of mind and uh mm. Yeah, I wake up in the morning with your presence and grace in my brain. Ever since the moment I felt you, I knew my life would never be the same. Maybe remain the same. Got me wrapped around your finger like this is a game. Surely you are my day while I am your night. The only thing I really wanna do is have you walk through the night. The way you inspire me, hold me, provoke me. Damn you drive me crazy. God damn you drive me crazy. The way you make me feel. I still remember it. I need to bring back the Dream Life beats. The ones with the, um, the hooks on the chorus. I forgot her name. Brianna Marin. I've been looking for those kind of beats. Way too lyrical. Yeah. It's Jordan. Addicted to the pain. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I, I don't gain much fame for making the music. I just love making the music. But the third mixtape, we're going to wrap up the saga. Uh, so, I have no plans for the fourth mixtape. I've had the third mixtape plans for the majority of this year. And it's going to wrap up everything. 
after that we're just gonna do yeah, I'm a, white boy, a completely different concept. The second you listen to my story, I guarantee you'll go home with a different type of sound while you were staying in your lane. I had already been around on it all recordings, editing, live, live streams, you name it. The moment you said I won the best was the moment I became it. Shout out to me and Maya with this second song on lock up. Shout out. Just talking shit, but I got that from lock up. See, what I'm See that that is I'm sick. That's an overlooked bar. Like Having um, Nehemiah's locked up the EP name with haters got their ass on lock up. That's fucking sick. When it comes to show it's not a mind blowing bar, but it's a nice little. Oh, I see ya, I got ya. You know, I got you covered. I thought that beat was sick, so I thought I'd hop upon it. It got me thinking about the whole world as we know it. Remember doing gaming bits and getting racist. Oh, comments yeah. I, was too white for certain I got racist. I got racist comments um, saying I was too white for certain content when I was playing uh, GTA San Andreas. Um, I think I put something to do with gang shit in the title, and uh, oh, I got a, I got a few haters on that for some reason. I don't understand what that was, um, and I still don't understand it now. But that's what I was talking about in here. In case you didn't know. See, homie, race is not the issue. And, and if, if you step into me like it is, I'll dismiss you. That is a line from Young Sinatra, Logic, the first Young Sinatra track. Um, yeah, I thought I'd pay homage with that because it, you know. It pays homage to Logic, who is the dude who inspired me to make this, um, to just ignore Bim Dowers and just start anew with Devil's Advocate. So I thought I'd put that in there, but it also links with the topic I was talking about in the track, about getting racist comments. So, paying homage with that line, and uh, yeah, it was a perfect ender to that verse. Like, perfect. That was a great track. Uh, so next, oh no. Okay, the thirst smell skit. There was some controversy around this. Um... I had a former best friend who uh, fucked me over and accused me of some really heinous shit um, that weren't true. And uh, then she tried to crawl back to me, so I screenshotted all the messages and uh, <laughs> I just put them in a skit. Um, I'm probably going to do the same thing on the third next day because I have a few screenshots from this year. Um, and a lot of people like the first spell skit. 67 views. Dang, man. Dang. Like, there's there's video there's um songs with less views on here. What's the least view one? Everything is okay. Oh no, it's not the Hello Hate skit. Not surprised there. Uh, like, if you weren't interested in me and Ryan's YouTube beef, then yeah. why would you listen to that? That's why I regret putting the Hello Hate skit and Levitate on there. I know it's been about two months since we last spoke. But, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Like, I just heard Machine Gun Kelly on the radio. Oh, that pissed me off so much. Because it, it weren't just her, neither. It was multiple people that had stabbed me in the back. And then they said, oh, I heard Machine Gun Kelly on the radio. Because Machine Gun Kelly is my favourite um, singer-songwriter, besides Logic. Um, and yeah, they really wound me up. I thought about you. Um, I just thought <sighs> about the whole thing that happened to a month or two ago, but... I know what happened to you was horrible, and I had a big part in that, but honestly, can we work this out? Can we, like, talk some time over a call? Uh, I've left my number attached to this, um, voicemail. I never called so, her. <laughs> get back to me, okay? Go, girl. Alright, bye. I did those sounds, by the way. <laughs> I kind of find that cringy, but if you don't know, then I was doing like <laughs> because yeah, budget and I'm broke. Because I was, I ain't broke, but you know, this was done on no budget. Obviously, I don't have any equipment, and I still don't now. But in all honesty, I just think that I I need to rethink a lot of passes. Life is short. Oh. I, I remember reading that text. It was just so generic. Like, it looked like it, it came straight out of a movie. Life is short. Fuck off. <laughs> what it's worth, I regret our falling out. Ugh. I regret it a lot. When I told myself that I loved you, I was right. Now I regret it. I regret it. Easily. I remember giving her a chance and then she changed her mind like 20 minutes later. It was just fucking dumb. <laughs> Now you'll see this. Let alone respond to it. Oh, she was spamming. Too much trouble. Out of me. Sorry if it sounds odd. 
Oh, this was after she wasted my time, so she came back again. This one I ignored. Never caught her, though. A lot of people love this skit. So, um, I have some messages, and I might bring it back. Oh, here I am. I love this track. Uh, so this uses uh, the Come Up beat from Logic's mixtape, um, Young Sinatra, Welcome to Forever. Love this beat. I want to rap on it again. We'll see. Well, but here we go. Here I, I love Here I Am. Here we go. Here I am. Hope do this because I can. Hope. Long time coming through now. We making it less spam. Ho. I still remember that line. I chess it like a lottery. Cash my winnings and talent. Y'all ain't got nothing on my palate. So versatile with my time. You might think I might have been fine the way I give my pants. In balance. I'm always going to be here like a bad habit. It'd be a very rare and boring day if I happen to be absent. Word on the street is I've changed, but I just brought on the horizons. That was my school's tagline. <laughs> was my school's tagline. Uh. Now I'm doing so much more without them. Put the rules, trying to turn us into a tool. But here we are now. Here I am, folks. You know my lyricism improved. With, with that, that super flow. flow. Here, here I am now. Ah, oh, shit, I, I forgot the words. <laughs> Deeper than the sea flow. Yeah. Ben Jowers was the best since then. I had a lot of time to rest, but now I'm putting my mind to the test with rhymes coming from beneath the chest. Woo. Treasure leaking straight from the heart in spite of everything. Oh, ho, ho, ho. dang. See, that that was a missed out line. A lot of people missed out on that line. Um, can we just go back here? Because I forgot it. Ben Jowers <laughs> was the best since then. I had a lot of time to rest, but now I'm putting my mind to the test with rhymes coming from beneath the chest. Treasure leaking straight from Woo. the heart. Rhymes coming from beneath the chest. Treasure leaking. Oh, treasure chest. How? That is true. Devil's Advocate was eons above anything else I'd written, other than the diss tracks. Um, other than Extreme Failure and Diss Devil. Um, Devil's Advocate was eons above everything else I'd ever done. Crazy. The jump of talent and progress shown between Binge House and Devil's Advocate is just crazy. They're like two different people. Kind of fucked a little there. <laughs> I saved it though. See you, flow. Here I am, ho. With the super flow. Deeper than the sea flow. I gotta blow up. <laughs> Damn. It wasn't going up, just what I was saying. I said everything that y'all do It's just straight up comical Yeah, we got one minute with the music Why am I singing right now with the music? You can't deny it the only reason I put that in is because I ran out of things to write about. Like, I didn't know how to end the final verse. So I just put a singing part in. So here we are now. But like a braggadocia flexing you know, one. Like type. Not really trying so like I have now. in Leftover here Residue. With Complete With You. And uh, Medicine here For Heartbreak. Here I am. How you know my lyricism improved with Super flow. Here we are now. Here I am. How you know my lyrics they be Deeper than the sea flow. I love that track so much. What's next? Oh, oh no. I want to dedicate this song to <laughs> you said I wouldn't be anything in the lines of YouTube. Oh my god, the Coca-Cola Insulin. Now this was just a random idea. I love listening to Young Gravy, so I wanted to make a song that was pretty much a rip-off of Young Gravy. Enjoyable though. Oh shit! Yeah, I wasn't even at five hundred when I when I did this track. Crazy man! Now I'm at like six hundred and thirty. That's insane. I've gained like close to two hundred subs since this, and it's only been a year. Oh, I love chicken pie. I could go for that right now. And now Judy's got that bread. Damn. Coca-Cola cans on the sand. Ready to be drank, beach balls floating around. 
You can even hear the ocean sound. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I out of my mind. Why did I do this track? Well, cola is just as good in the snow. We can have this is only a minute 45. We've just those in the snow. There ain't no snakes Makes here. So it stays on the down low. It don't matter if we got no solar. Just as long as we got that cola. Well, the ending's pretty sick for this one, I can't lie. Never blend whether or not we're sober. sober. It's perfect. And we got that cold. Well, this is Dots Pepper, I don't care. And the beat, the beat switches up like that. It's like an incursion, but uh, it's time to talk about some real shit. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, snap. Here we go. One of my best tracks ever. Peace of Mind 1. I say that as if I've made a dozen since. Yeah. Peace of Mind 2 is better, but I mean, yeah. this was the best track on the album for me. Can you hear the sound? I dropped bars in this one. Upside down. Fucked up world. Now everybody listen up. I was walking to pick my little brother up from school. Let me tell you, it rules to see his face look at me in surprise and realize that it's shorty he's taking him home. And he's happy because he's 91 views. Home, Get this to 100, guys. Get peace of mind to 100. Let's talk about the lesson. Because when I was this age, I remember stressing over being at school. How was school? When all I wanted to do was get home to my bedroom and just chill. ADHD kids, I feel sorry for you. I know exactly what it feels like to get home to just have a pill and lose control. I didn't talk yeah, about that in Leftover Residue. Actually, yeah, I did. Scratch that. I did talk about it. I never made a whole song around it, because I, I can't. As in, there isn't enough words to describe it. Listen to the flow, man! She gotta get ready for her school. Hold up, let me take it back. Add it to the fact. She's had only three hours sleep. Up all night. <laughs> Having a conversation that was deep with a boyfriend. She tried so hard to be the one always there when he wanted someone, but it wasn't no event. Listen to the flow. This isn't working. I need another. I went from big towers to this. <laughs> oh, I love this song. You must be wondering where I'm going with this. What I'm trying to. I know it seems like I'm sucking my own dick right now, like vibing out to these, but like, I, you guys have no idea, like. If you haven't made a project by yourself, TJ will probably understand because he hypes out over his Bright Night shit. Like, when you work so hard on something and then you listen to it afterwards and you realize just how, like, how proud of yourself you are. It's crazy. And I'm really proud of myself for Devil's Advocate. And um, a year from now, well, not a year from now, but almost a year from now when I do the Leftover Residue reaction, I'm going to feel the exact same way. Probably even more so because Leftover Residue was lyrically amazing even better than this album uh, this mixtape so that we're not even halfway through the track and I further elaborate on the story man this is um it's not a fully um comp it's not a fully real story it's basically loosed on some uh, and a lot of things I've been through, except I don't, I haven't had the happy ending yet. But I mean, maybe in like the five year anniversary or the ten year anniversary, I'll be able to say I did. Peace of mind too is a true story though. Unfortunately. To his girlfriend. Yet another when his best friend saw her in the street kissing another, the pain she felt was that she was in tears. And she was in fear that he was gonna do something he regret. But yet, all he did was talk to the girl he thought was dear with his mind in the bed. He found she detected multiple men. And only then did he make a mistake. They both said they still had love. They were willing to start over, drama over. The worst thing she did was go to sleep. No, she cheated. But he couldn't rest. Putting his mind to the test, he realized that he was the best kind of person. Cursing himself, he wrote a paragraph that he realized she was only pretending to relate and that she loved herself more than him and that he realized now how shallow she was. He just found out hella late, carrying on. He told her that he found another girlfriend, it was his best friend. When his ex went to sleep, she kept texting him. He could only see the worst, but she could see the best, best in him. him. Turned out she had a crush on him the whole time. Well, I'll write to you for those story. Ron. Moral of it all, 
is that there's always someone for you. you. You just have to be patient. Don't be hard on yourself. You yeah, there's always someone for other people, but not me. Like, <laughs> step on the straight. But like I said, that shit's for the next tape. Oh, oh yeah. One, and I did. That was for the next tape. If I blow up, I know I'd make a lot of money, but this shit is deeper than money. I assure you, I think about it all the time. Trust me, if I was rich, I wouldn't be a bitch. I still rhyme about the real shit. Give me the cash, you can put it to the test. I will never change, so you would, shouldn't worry about it. But I, I digress. digress. Even if I could be the greatest, keeping up with the latest. Famous subjects with amazing projects, I'd still be the one to cash checks. Even if I'm really not the type of person to flex. I love this. I'm really not the type of person to flex. But it's in my and then it goes into a braggadocia track. Out of Sight remix. Remix of a Logic Out of Sight. But I still it hit my peak. Uh, I'm out of sight. I'll be going all night. Uh. Yeah, I'm just saying that everything you do, I want Where is my blue hat? I don't know where that's come. I don't know where that's come. I'd, be, I'd wear it right now during this track. But, yeah. You, you, you. I'm kind of scared to find out how ill I'm I'll gonna be in two. We still ain't got to two years yet, I don't think. Oh, uh, maybe it, maybe I'll point out this line if I make a project I'm next year. Got no fears on my feet. She is comfortable, I'm liable. To prove that I'm the greatest, yeah, that statement's undeniable. My talent is unfightable. My style is impeccable. Now I'm just kidding. All my best shit's already written. Oh my, good God. Do you know, I'm, I'm fine. fine. I'm feeling so high, too alive. Like I'll never die, but that's just me. Being, Being naive like Adam and Eve. Because I leave my room and I realize room. that everybody dies. I'ma make it, yeah, that's real. I'ma I'm make, make it, it yeah, that's real. real. I'ma work myself to death till I sign a fucking deal. Yeah, I got my blue up on my head. Got no fears on my feet. Yeah, I'm only 17, but I still ain't come up peak cause I'm, uh, I'm out of sight. Got the grace to move up, yeah. I'm no, I'll be alright, uh. I know I am, god damn, I know I am. Out of sight with this album as I'm releasing to the masses. It's kind of ironic cause I need glasses. Because of my sight. I've got contacts here right now. I have to rely on my crew, so I get work working a few. Then I got cards cycling me not only look fresh, but see fresh too. <laughs> yeah, short-sighted, but everyone, everyone is. You see rap, they compare to me. The gap between me and y'all is clear to see. Uh -huh. <laughs> now I'm just playing. I don't know, know what, what I'm, I'm saying, but I'm killing it. God damn, damn, I'm fucking killing it. it. Yeah. yeah. I know one day I'll have to stop, but deep down inside, I know I won't. Until I reach the top, yeah. yeah. I'ma make it, yeah, that's real. I'ma make oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, the third verse. I love the start of this. Till I start a fucking deal. Got my blue light on my head. But no fears on my feet. Yeah, I'm only 17. But I still ain't hit my peak, cause I'm, uh, I'm out of sight. Now, hold up, wait a minute. Give me a moment to get up in it. Got the talent, got the style, and you know that shit infinite. Oh. Woo! I need to listen to that again. It's fire. Hold up, wait a minute. That's flame. Confidence exuding in this track. I want to make a whole mixtape like this. Just braggadocia. I haven't done it since Binge Hours. But Binge Hours, I weren't really talented that much at all. But if I didn't get rid of it nowadays, I think it would be a pretty good project. Yeah, I made it, yeah, that's real. Yeah, I made it, yeah, that's real. Yeah, yeah, I'm only 17, but I still ain't hit my peak. Yeah. I'm only 18 because I still ain't hit my peak, yeah. <laughs> Dang. What a track. Oh, here we go. How I hate Skit. Here we go. This is the life. The background tracks are pretty good. <laughs> Classic. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> nah, maybe I maybe I don't regret it a little bit. Why, why should I respond? What, why exactly? Why should you respond? Why did you? <laughs> exactly. Why did I respond, man? I could have took out these two tracks. I spent way too much time on Levitate. I could have took out these two tracks and actually wrote two pretty good tracks. I think the mixtape would have done better with re with them two tracks replaced. Not that they're bad, but... Not that they're bad or anything, it's just... Yeah, it was just unneeded. I didn't need to write Levitate. I didn't need it. Like, I know Ryan was still talking shit about me at the time. Um, 
Same with Brizzy in that, but yeah, I'd already dropped Disc Devil. I didn't need Levitate, but I mean, this happened. I can't change it. Levitate's not a bad track, but I think Hella Hate Skit was a bit too long. By the way, the um, this skit was completely and utterly free freestyled, like off off the top of the dome and everything. I didn't write a script like I did with Old Man Consequences. Well, you know that EK dude? Well, we were searching for your DM. You know that EK dude? <laughs> and, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. He was on some horny fucking shit, man. Oh no. <laughs> no. I, why did I, I violated him with this? Brizzy, I'm really sorry, bro. If you're watching this, I'm really sorry. <laughs> so basically, if you don't know already, Brizzy sent me a message, I think he was drunk or something, saying he was really horny, and then he messaged me in the morning saying, no, I am not. <laughs> oh, the damage was already done, though. <laughs> oh, I violated him by mentioning it. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, he blocked me right afterwards, but I'd already took the screenshot. He DM'd me, telling me he was horny. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shit, Maybe. Okay. Um, we need to get back I mean, to I don't regret doing it, but what I'm sorry. <laughs> he's, saying. Oh, he's saying that you would be nothing without Aaron. This album that's coming out is probably going to be filled with business. Honestly, I wasn't too surprised that he said that because Binge Albums was kind of filled with disses, if you remember. Um, I think Ryan even commented on one of them because um, so many, like, Oh, you play Fortnite, haha, <laughs> bars. Well, not exactly like that in the jazz, but you know what I mean. It was obvious that I was dissing Ryan. Um, that's one of the ways I fucked up with Ben Jazz. Like, I should have focused... It was my first proper project. I should have focused on myself. That's what I did with Devil's Advocate, and where I kind of fucked up with the Hella Hate skit and Levitate. Everything else is perfectly, like, perfect. Like, I should have made different tracks instead of these two, you know? But I, it is what it is. Like Can't change it now. Oh yeah, I did only have 14 on the track. I recorded the skits last. 14 or some tracks. That means I would have added a track in last minute then. Oh, what was that? I know I... It might have been everything is... No, it weren't everything is okay. Because I, I had that plan from the beginning, obviously. Because for album structure, the interludes had to be in particular places. Um, I feel like it would have been Man of the Year. I don't know why. I, I know I did Man of the Year in like an hour or two. Not an hour. I did the first verse in like... like I did it in a day. I wrote Man of the Year in a day. So it was probably Man of the Year. It might even have been in... No, it wouldn't have been intro. Um, looking through these tracks, it, I think it was Man of the Year that hadn't uh, been even conceptualized yet. I know that was the last one I thought of writing, though. Man of the Year was definitely the last one I thought of writing. And Levitate was the last one that I finished. Um, well, we got pornos right here, and we got, um, uh, um, I'm looking through. Oh my god. No way did he just play that. This is when I ran out of ideas. Yeah, what's he said? <laughs> so I was stalling for time saying, there's no way he just said that. Hey, what's he said? Like, I was just stalling for time trying to think of what else to say. Nothing, nothing without him. And now I'm just repeating myself. <laughs> he was the one who made Legacy what it is. Oh, and you did say that. Hold on. What the fuck <laughs> is Legacy? The Legacy Club, don't you remember? Oh, that one. Right. Um... <laughs> What's he been saying? He's saying that you would never believe it, that him and EK were actually the founders and... That was complete yeah, bullshit. Was... <laughs> that was absolute bullshit. Ah, uh, who came up with the idea of the name? I, I used to say it all the time, but, like, I, I've now forgotten who. I think it was me who came up with the name. Um... But someone else came up with the idea to make a group. I think we all did. Uh, we wanted to make a group, but I think I came up with the name. But um, him and him and Ryan weren't the founders. Actually, I'm pretty sure that we found... I definitely found Brizzy when he was doing a 2K16 stream. He'll bloody deny it to this day. 
but um, I definitely found him through um, Live Now on PlayStation, maybe. I think that's what the app's called. Uh, I used to search through there looking for other people who played uh, wrestling games, like me and Ryan did, and uh, that's how I found Brizzy. And I think that's how Ryan found Elijah. And, um, yeah, TJ was the anomaly, though. TJ came through me. TJ came through the, uh, um, you know, subscriber route. Subscribe, watch the 2K17 content. Kind of spammed me for a year. <laughs> and eventually we ended up playing video games together. And, uh, yeah, shit ain't been the and same since. Them and you wouldn't be where you are today. Hold up. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, Bruh, dear. Look at everything I've accomplished this year without the legacy kit. Who's the one that 2019, the I did. 2019 was the first year without the Legacy Club, and I accomplished more in 2019 than I did ever then. And I've accomplished now, than, I've accomplished more now than I did in 2019, so that's insane. Have not been in his entire fucking life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's me. You know what, I'm fucking responding. I, uh, this is, this is fake anger. <laughs> See, I was stolen for time again. Let me do this guy again. Um, he has about 10 views a video. Hold up, slow your roll. Slow your roll. <laughs> so TJ likes that part. Whoa, whoa, slow your roll. <laughs> like that. But he's the one with his... Um, uh, yes, it's obviously, it's freestyle. Isn't this... Uh, Off the top of the dome. I have an extra burst from my this devil shit. Oh yeah, I delete the verse off this devil because it was unfinished. Please don't delete the levitate verse. Victoria's already dead. You'll actually murder him. It's too fucking late. Right, I haven't listened to levitate since December last I year. How many subs I'm getting compared to you? That's not even like a Ooh. lie. Now the time to change. Yeah. Levitate, levitate. Oh, I remember What's going in on this though. And get hella hate, but I did say this was the last this track I was doing, so. This hook is based on Logic's Freestyle Friday thing of a song called, of a song that he never released. Big dog. All about the money, I don't think you really No, no. This shit be put in cash, I don't give a damn about ego. I got a party puffing in the club. No, I you ain't getting in my hub. All the money, all the much you couldn't earn a sub, so you sold out. You bowed out. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Ryan made a t shirt, didn't he? For like $30 or some shit. You bum. You're a stupid son of a gun. Listen up, pick it up, W, a dummy. Ask him tough, you cry to your mom. Ooh. Listen to the devil, you think in the first Listen to the flow. Nothing's hot like a bunny. Billy Gunny, you call that rap? Bitch, you're a parody. Bitch, you're a bastard. Bitch, my bitch, you shut up and lose any older shit. Just move me. Ooh. Because I'm balling. And number one is calling, yeah. Fuck rap, fuck shade, fuck trap. And fuck blade. You ruined legacy and then you made that like a trade. What the fuck, man? Man, I remember blade. I me and I remember blade. Man. I'm Richard Fabon. Me and I was in blade. God damn, but no one's God, that, that was so man. logic. <laughs> God damn, that was so logic, man. That was just... Why did I do that? That photo was just trunks like an elephant. And when the <laughs> fuck you gonna answer TJ? You're dicking in more times than your sister is giving BJ. Ooh. Instead of playing mad and by yourself in your PJ, why don't you grow a pair and one do you want him so you can go... That line friend. about his sister giving BJs, I violated him, man. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, now take this petty disc and fucking run with it. You use it, get it. Yeah, out. yeah. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, though. Like... I gotta hand it to me, I knew it was a petty diss. Don't you need it, that's what told you so much you even bought 2K20. You know your problem is the versatility. I knew 2K20 was gonna be shit from the start. I fucking knew it. As soon as I read the article uh, that Yugs weren't making the game anymore and that they were taking assets from 2K18 to make the game, I knew it was gonna be bad because I played WWE 2K18 more than anybody. That is a guarantee. I made so much fucking content on that game, it's unreal. So I know everything about the bugs in 2K18, and that's why it didn't surprise me that 2K20 was as broke. Well, it did surprise me, because I knew it was going to be broken, but not to the extent that it was, you know? There was even the Y2K bug, which is crazy. Again and again, has it finally sunk in that backstab in me was a bad decision? I woke up now all it is. Is the vision. I'll tell you what. He's making me only multiplied my fame, putting you in obscurity while elevating my game. game. Back to the top of the blade. 
what happened with that, that another failure so you try to sweep it under the, the rug, rug just to hide the fact you couldn't even buy a dub making up for it you probably bought another sub. sub i hope one day they all find out you bought your own merch along with probably ek hold up let's get a replay Ooh. kid bought me after texting me some weird shit <laughs> saying he was horny then he renamed himself <gasps> frenzy uh, oh yeah he did rename himself frenzy for a bit that's the resolved content where he cry in a video and delete the rest you of them. You violated them! Oh my god! I took them both on at once and violated them. This is where I retired from this track. I just got too good at it and I just violated people. You failure. That's all the bumpy you will never be. Every time you shot at me, all you ever got was hella hate. Levitate. Levitate. Watch my talent elevate. All my rivals, they be getting smoked and get hella Violated them in that second verse. Manipulate. Then the rest of them, I'm higher. That's from Stain in the Game from Logic. Well, that's a, it's not the exact thing, but it's a play on it. Uh, that line is obviously based on that. Because uh, stay in the game, it was flyer. Then the rest of them, I'm higher. Then the rest of them, my first name is Sir, so I'm Sire. To the rest of them. Mm. Yeah, that was based on that Genius. line. Your channel dying as soon as I'm gone. I guess that's just convenience. convenience. Why don't you just quit? It's plain to see. You're a has-been. I remember don't this. Don't enjoy it anymore. And why? Because oh, I remember this last verse. It really violated yeah, him. I'm a genius. Your channel dying as soon as I'm gone. I guess that's just convenience. Listen why to this. It's plain as thief, you're a has-been. You don't enjoy it anymore, and why? Because you lost me. The only person who kept you relevant from the start, you can keep lying, but everybody know the truth at heart. Levitate, levitate. Watch Violated him. Levitate. I knew he weren't enjoying it because he lost me at the time. Levitate, levitate. Watch my home he wasn't uploading any content at all. And he was getting really fucking low views at the time. It was kind of my fault. <laughs> Sorry. But he's fine now. And we're fine now, if anyone wants to ask. Um, but there's just... I would have done a video with Ryan already, but there's no games that we really play anymore. Although, I am thinking of buying WWE 2K20, so maybe we'll do a stream together at some point. I don't know. In terms of me and Ryan, I'm not even sure if I even have enough time to play video games with him at some point. But, I mean, if he ever wants to do a video with me, then sure. Maybe we can play WWE against each other again. How would you guys like that? I might text him about that at some point. Maybe get 2K20 and do a video with Ryan. Man, that would be crazy. I might I might text him about that. That could make for a pretty good video. I think that would get a lot of views as well, because it's me and Ryan. I forgot about this track for a minute. So, this track is special to me, because I took a carbon, a, a, a track from Need for Speed Carbon, uh, like in, it was just instrumental for the muscle cars, and basically, it's not even a rap beat, it's more rock or something. I don't know. I think TJ told me it was, like, more rock, but, like, this track. I love this track, and it's it's underrated. It's only got 44 views. Have the views been deleted or something? I think they have. I, I definitely remember this. Yeah, I remember this having more views. YouTube has been deleting views for some reason. I have no idea why that is, but it's only on particular tracks. Um... Like, um, Out of Sight's only got 51 views. Um, the early tracks have got a decent amount of views. But, like, some of them just straight up have been, like, cut. I think everything is okay, but to be fair, like, it, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, not that it was a bad track, it's just an interlude. Uh, but Out of Sight and Burnout having small views, I don't remember that being a thing. But I love this track, Burnout. Here we go. So I'm sick of these rappers selling out for the fame. Even that other pain holds us lame. Now I'm in a put my stand in the game. Never lost a death battle since I came. Love it, I hate it, and I'm never to grit it. No, I'm ahead of my own time. I honestly can't understand it. Why do these people still watch it? They just can't stand it. Damn it. I think it's because I'm surrounded with busts and they want to steal all my limelight. But fuck that. Who won't ever let them have the spotlight? It's mine and they speak my mind when I rhyme when I'm under instrumental song. You're fucking with the wrong guy. Wrong guy, I'll fake your career's died. Last two enemies got the views now. Hard. Burn out. Last two enemies got no views that hide. That was another jab at Brizzy and uh, yeah. Ryan. They try to run, bitch, please fight right down to your knees. Only one more fucker, I'm the king. Fuck around and now I'll make you kiss the ring. God, God damn, I'm the, the man with, with the plan. Like a you should call you a hitter. Now you're nothing but a stand. Yeah, yeah. oh, now you're yeah. nothing but a stand. 
I love this. My most, I think, I think this might be my most underrated track. Yeah, uh, there ain't nothing but a stand. You're a whack little boy. No view shit shoes. I'm kicking myself in the teeth for not including no view shit shoes in, um, you know, leftover residue because in binge hours. Um, I was like, um, no view shit shoes, take your anger and diffuse, now bitch don't give me any excuse to watch you, make you watch you sing the blue, I don't know, something like that. Um, I didn't have it in leftover residue, and I was kicking myself in the teeth on it after the standard version, and now I'm kicking myself in the teeth again, because I didn't put it in the expanded version either, so I kind of fucked up there, but I think, um... I think I'll just save it for special projects now since that. I was going to put it in every project I made somewhere in there, but I think I'll just save it for the special ones now. Don't play coy. I'm the one who lit the way like a shining light. Yeah, I'm Bruce Wayne always up for a fight. Always been like Alfred. Yeah. Always been like Alfred. Always been like Alfred. Now it's time to put on the bat outfit. The bat outfit. Patient, damn. So it's on a deadline. I'm doing that again. I, that, I've got a habit of that. Setting myself a deadline and then having to go overtime in crunch time. Um, I won't be surprised if it happens again with the mixtape I'm working on right now. I'm going to try my best to not let that happen. But with Devil's Advocate and Leftover Residue, I went overtime, went into crunch time and really overwhelmed myself with them. And I'm probably I'm overwhelming myself now with this mixtape. And that's why I'm wrapping up the Devil's Advocate saga. And then after that, I'm going to do music completely differently. If I ever do music again afterwards. For you to do better, I take a beat, automatically upgrade it. And I don't give a fuck if you doubt me. Other people that left doing nothing without me. Getting texts from old friends. They're just bellowing. <laughs> end of it. Now come on. <laughs> Getting texts from old friends, they're just bellends. Thinking you a boss rapper lyrical don't go with grind. Oh. Thinking you a boss rapper lyrical don't go with grind. They have to rap about but you burnt out like a mouse with a flame, jumping yourself and saying trying to match my talent. Just stay in your lane, boy. Burn out. Yeah. I love this track. This is my most underrated track. Around, yeah, uh, no, you're nothing but a stand. Burn out. Motherfuckers be burned out. Every time they try to rob, bitch, please write down to your knees. Only one more fucker, I'm the king. Fuck around and I'll make it just the ring. Goddamn, I'm the man with a plan. You repeating like a train. I used to call you a hater and I ain't nothing but a stand. Yeah, uh, no, ain't nothing but a stand. What a track. I love that one. Ah, uh, here we go. Everything is okay. This one's got 42 views. Everything is okay interlude, sorry. Boom. Everything is okay. This instrumental is really famous now, by the way. Everything is okay. I've heard it in so many things after this. I used it first. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I cringe a little at this song. I try not to listen to it, but... I'm riding this. I'm writing this music. I don't, you know, I'm not used to my singing voice, so when I put it in a song, I sometimes cringe when listening back to it. This was the saddest song in uh, in the album, in the mixtape, I think. Was it? Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> Compared to Leftover Residue, though, this is small as fuck. I wrote this about 10-15 minutes. That's the thing with interludes. I never spend that much I've never spent that much time on an interlude. I don't think I've ever spent more than an hour on an interlude, surprisingly. Um I think why should I open my eyes is the most I've ever spent on one because I really wanted to paint the picture of how I felt when I was just waking up in the morning. That's my best interlude. Even though a lot of people liked Medicine for Heartbreak and Leftover Residue, but whatever, this isn't about that album. In terms of interludes on here, they were pretty lackluster. Um, like, the Coca-Cola interlude was a fun track, though, but, like, yeah. uh, And everything is okay is kind of the same thing. Well, people like my singing voice, but I just cringe at it, you know? I really don't like it. Oh, it's this part in particular. 
I I thought I think this was bad, but I've, it's gotten better now. Like I used to cringe really bad at it a few months ago, but I think now that I've done a lot more singing in the second mixtape, I'm you know it's fine with it now. Because complete with you is singing throughout the entire of that interlude, so that's crazy how I've come from absolutely cringing at that to doing the whole thing again times ten <laughs> on the last mixtape. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Everything is everything is okay. I'll give it to myself. The hook is a bit catchy here. Yeah. <laughs> the beat works really well with it as well. I made a good selection here. Whew. Okay, so that's that. Now we get into the final three, and the final three tracks on this mixtape. Oh, fucking sick. Well, technically, Final Four, if you count the bonus track, Devil's Advocate 2, which we will listen to in this one, because it's part of the mixtape. Sometimes, I love this beat, man. I want to rap on it again, but I'm going to avoid it. Natural 910, yeah. Shout out to Natural 910. That dude is sick for his beats. Did I use any of his beats in the last one? I'm trying to think. Sometimes I feel like I'm blessed, sometimes I feel awake and stressed, sometimes I, I feel alive and gone, this time I feel like, like a dawn, looking back, my memories attack, my mind, as it fades to black, this year I've been through so many trials, it's hard to think that last year I could, could have been thrown in an asylum, but I stayed defiant, knowing my sadness was like a goliath, while I was like David, used to being hated, one day I want my whole neighborhood gated, hold up let my flow increase, I've left all those rappers to these, when it comes to this platform, you know that I will never cease, to be, I'm the greatest alive. Yeah. yeah, I'm the greatest alive at being me. So the the last three tracks of the album is like a complete U-turn to the tracks in the last section. Now, Everything Is Okay is very important because it separates the flex tracks, which is Out of Sight, Levitate, Burnout, um, and it separates it from these final three tracks. These are the reminiscing tracks, um, and a lot of people's favourites are these last three. Um... Because, um, well, not particularly sometimes, but the last, like, man of the year in particular, um, this was just me looking back. And, uh, yeah, I feel like I sequenced the album pretty well with those interludes. That's why I feel like interludes are so, so important to um, an album or, an, or a mixtape or whatever, you know? And um, I feel like I did a perfect job with the track list, um sequence for this mixtape skip back a bit when it comes to this platform you know that i will never cease to, to be. be i'm the greatest alive yeah i'm the greatest alive to be me a being jordy living life by my own accord i can no longer be ignored making, making history, history with this it. record some say they ready to die but i can't because i'm too alive i don't think about suicide can't i focus on a drive i'm the lord trying to survive i'm too crazy for this life Ooh. yeah Sometimes I feel lifted, yeah, sometimes, sometimes I feel gifted. Sometimes I feel like my whole entire vibe is shifted. Sometimes I'm told This is one of the tracks I want to get into a studio and uh, remake. Definitely. I think this might be one of the first I do. Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If I should continue on anymore, because sometimes I feel like I've been here. Before. 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 Same events repeating on and on and on. It all comes full circle when no. I write about it. On the song, I think I've been over sentimental for way too long. So I'ma live my life with no regrets, knowing I can't go wrong. But sometimes, but sometimes I feel like I am doomed. I feel like I am nothing. I feel ruined. Please tell me why I'm so conflicted. Cause sometimes. Cause sometimes I feel like all my happiness is all self-inflicted. I see Ooh. the bigger picture. That all my happiness. Home. All my happiness is all self-inflicted. Yeah, no one makes me happy but me. Bars. Half of it. Oh. oh. <laughs> See the bigger picture, so I cropped out half of it. Man, I remember at this point in my life, late into no when i started writing devil's advocate during the progression of it was really the progression of me i really cut myself off of social media 
while I wrote this mixtape. I put everything I had at the time into this. And that's why I'm so proud of it, because writing this mixtape not only changed me as a rapper, but changed me as a person. It completely evolved me. And, yeah, I think this is going to be probably the most important thing I've ever done on YouTube in terms of real-world impacts. Yes, Leftover Residue will be the most important mixtape I've ever done in terms of music, and it will remain that way for a long time purely because of the emotional sentiments behind it, but Devil's Advocate changed me for the better, and uh, that's why this mixtape is so important. Sometimes, sometimes... Sometimes. I only want acceptance from my friends and said the only thing I need. Sometimes. 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 Yeah. 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 I love that. Right at the end of a track, um, just before the next drum in the beat, where a rapper just goes, yeah. Love that. It's just so, it's such a small, subtle thing, but it's so cool to me. And this beat is sick. It's a Metropolis type beat, obviously, you can tell if you listen to Under Pressure. The album from Logic. It's great. And I did it again, because I love the Metropolis type beats. I did it again for Open Therapy. Been through a lot of shit this year. This is TJ's yeah. favourite track. Man of the Year. I'm going to get this shit out for uh, all of you. Mm. This was a throwaway track for me. That's the crazy thing. And it ended up being one of the most popular tracks on the, uh, the mixtape. That's crazy. It's growing on me as well. You still wonder what it feel like to accomplish a dream in real life. Now I've made it come true. Now you are. Not kind of. You made a mixtape, a full length mixtape. That's what you always wanted. Nobody else but me got the best of me. You still. Instead of putting myself down, I picked up the pen and now I'm straight to town writing these rhymes telling you that I'm the best. For the last few months, when my ass off, I think I've heard a rest. Putting my body, my heart, my soul to the test. Now I'm out here wondering how I ever felt proud of myself for doing less. But it doesn't matter now, I want the whole world to address this time last year. I was thinking about old friends and now I was in tears, but now I stand here before you with success. And I have nothing, nothing to fear. fear. I'm the man, man of the year. Yeah. Accomplished so much, that's how I know. I'm the man of the year. <laughs> Overcame every issue thrown at me, now there's no doubt. I'm the man of the year. <laughs> now I know it. Oh, dearie me. Yeah. One day they will sign me on the dotted. They told me they didn't need me. But and now I'm most wanted. wanted. Now, that's crazy. So many people said they didn't need me in their life. But now since I started working on Devil's Advocate, shit has changed for me so much because I've cut myself off from so many people and so many people have, wanted, have tried to get me back and... I just haven't let them in my life because they're just toxic, and I encourage you guys to do the same. I'm just a kid with anxiety, plus depression. If, if I, I die, let my project serve as a lesson. You, you could do anything. Set your mind to it, give it all yeah, you all those people that say, oh, I would do this, but, you know, same as Logic says, I would do this, but I don't have the equipment, I don't have the money. Mate, I don't have the money, I don't have the equipment, I just have my, this phone, well, not this phone, where is it? I've lost my other phone. Hold up. I just have this phone right here, my old phone, my last phone before this iPhone. This is where I record all of my music. Like Devil's Advocate was done on here. I think the only one that wasn't, I think, was Binge Hours done it? Yeah, Binge Hours was done in here. Every track from Extreme Failure up until um, Leftover Residue was done on this. This. It was, it was done on this. It was done on this phone. Which is crazy, and yeah, that will continue as well because this phone is in decent condition, you know. So, and that's why that's where it's gonna stay. And I promise you'll get to it. I remember recording bids for universe, universe career. Yeah, I went from that to start a, a whole music career. career. Became the disc devil. Rapping at binge hour. But outside of that, I'm Jordy. Ain't, Ain't nobody, nobody been, been there before me. me. I'm the B1, the best that ever was, the best, best that ever will be. I had to throw in some wrestling. Um, lines in there because I mean yeah why not because the same people who liked Disc Devil are the same people who watched the wrestling content and loved that 
And I will bring back the wrestling content. I just needed a break after 2K16. I said pay attention. You'll see I'm the man of the year. So much is how I know. I'm the man of the year. Yeah. <laughs> see, I did it again. I love doing that. I probably did it in Leftover Residue, and if I didn't, I'll be surprised. But don't be surprised if I do it in the third mixtape. <laughs> uh, what a track. Alright, now we're on the last one. Remain the same outro. I love this track. This one's underrated as well. This, I mean, if you can call 73 views underrated, it should have more. Honestly. This one should have, should be near 100, like the rest of the tracks. Like a lot of the other tracks, I mean. In the rap game, I, be, I remain the same. Uh, I have a great mission. I guess this is the time I love. Back at everything. And tell you that my passion isn't, isn't ever for the bling. I used to be offended by the little things. People still hate me, but I ain't ever faced by bee stings. To do a lot of shit I shouldn't have. I never forgot it. Been at the bottom with fate. Love that with Fun fact, I said I wasn't phased by bees. Things I used to be shit scared of bees as a kid. <laughs> it's a full abuse and hate, but that shit's for the next time. I only hope that you can hear my words that made the same mistake. I'm so grateful for the fans that are still here. I don't think you know my motive, so I'll make it clear. I gave you my peace of mind. Told you that I was out of sight. That anyone can have imagination to see the light. Don't get mad, I'm only trying to dodge it. This is hate. Or maybe I should turn around and start, start to levitate. Sometimes I find I work so hard, I start to burn out. I'm contemplating this, but that means nothing. I'm the man of the year. That's that's fire. Just naming, naming a number of tracks from the rest of the album, that uh, next tape. Fire. That's always fire when you hear it. Multiple rappers have done it, and I, I can't not have done it. And I did. I kind of did the same thing with Complete with you as well. I hope that you listen. I don't even know my state of mind. I feel like I feel fine. fine. I'm just always on the grind. All I want to do, do is unwind. unwind. How could I be so blind? To not see that I'm harming myself by not keeping tabs on my health. What am I, I doing, even doing this for? for? It ain't for well. Can't feel that was a little. Ain't it funny? I ain't like anyone else my age. Turn to the page, a new chapter. chapter. On a bigger stage, along the track inside the cage. The, the name is Jordy, ain't no need to remind me. When I flow, you wanna rewind me. It would be kind of unlikely for me to ever quit this YouTube thing. You know it's more than just a fling, yeah. yeah. All these little rappers being humbled and the change. They use the fans till they make enough to have no change. But trust me, no matter how much I shine, no matter how much I glisten, I will always be me. Yeah. yeah. So I hope you listen. listen. Play on the hook there. As things change, I remain the same. Trying to keep saying, fucking the struggle, trying to gain. I hope that you listen. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in the rap game, I but. I remain the same. Trying to keep saying that hook is fire, man. I'm gonna put it in the last track of the third mixtape. Who the outcome? Could be outdone. I'm aware that I'm not the only one. Yeah. 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 Ye
Logic, and then I would have done Leftover Residue, then I would have done a, an EP that was futuristic, and then I was going to do Devil's Advocate 4, which I kind, of, I kind of am still doing that idea, but it's not called Devil's Advocate 4, obviously. There's not even a Devil's Advocate 3 yet, but that track will be included on the next mixtape. But yeah, I had a whole big plan that was unrealistic as fuck, and of course it didn't happen. Devil's Advocate 2, here we go then. This was the bonus track. Oh, yeah, chorty this, chorty that. This is member. No, I lyrically dismember. Everything no time to ponder. Staring with wonder. As I'm watching my enemy blunder, I feel younger, so 17. So yet to reach my best, now fuck that. Watching this burst, I'm putting the rest in the hearse. No more shitty one liners, I ain't got time to converse. That was inadequate. That wasn't stolen from that grind shit. I'm stuck in a world with no creativity with these rockers, rappers, and my machinery. I guess that makes me the enemy. I'm, I'm on the cutthroat shit. That full float shit. Next album, Motion, do you need a lifeboat shit? Yeah. Never know who I'm feeling. Numbers high. higher than the ceiling. I'm flowing, I'm flowing. You already know it. While I'm always glowing. Never slowing it down. That isn't me. It's just me and only me. Going hella crazy, I'm Bruce Wayne in the game, going batshit, I'm insane. That's fire. To the fast lane, simple and plain, blow your mind already. I got a kitchen with this rhyme, I'm ready, I'm ready. Bit of a filler bar here, probably the only thing I don't like. I realize that most people in this world would rather stop you in the nav and talk about real men. It puts my mind in a bend. It's to smack you in the face. Or get a group of to fucking jump you with a mace. Me and I'm sorry for talking about it so late. People are true cowards, they ain't great. People are true cowards, they ain't great. Oh, only a few months after this, the whole George Floyd situation. Whoo! It's a world problem every hour. Focused on that money and power. I'm spitting absolute facts in this. And the, that whole situation hadn't even happened yet. And wow. Whew. Called it. It can only be accomplished through maturity. Peace, peace can only be accomplished through maturity. Not hurting each other just to prove our masculinity. That I was spinning facts in Devil's Advocate too, man. Till the day I tie, time's infinity. I won't let it go to waste. Copy and paste and claim it as their own. Work into every song, every skit, every interlude. I ain't original. I swear these people's mind states are aboriginal. Yeah, uh, it's ancient. I'm the future. The only people calling me immature are ones that try to act to put their own age. You a clown. I hate people like that. I always have. When we were like 14, 15, 16, there was always these group of people who would go get jobs and stuff and act like an adult and act and like put themselves on a pedestal. Like getting a job at that age is nothing like bad or anything. Um, but acting like you're above people because you're doing that. People like me who have mental issues and couldn't do that at the time and find it difficult to do nowadays because I've got anxiety, depression, stuff like that. I struggle to go to college every day. Like, the, uh, getting a job is going to be difficult. So having the privilege, the fucking privilege to not have those issues and be able to get a job at a young age and go out as much as you do and then putting yourself on a pedestal because of that, you're, you're a clown. Throwing away your youth... Um, while other people are, like, hanging out with their friends and stuff like that. Like, sure, there's nothing wrong with getting a job, but acting like an adult and putting yourself on a pedestal because of that, you're a fucking clown. Get out of here. When the time comes to reminisce, taking the piss, like you never would, though. I love this line. I need to reverse it. But know this. You're gonna regret it when the time comes to reminisce. Saying you're living how you want. Taking the piss. Fucking with me now like you never were, though. Riding on my dick. Oh shit. I got the lines wrong. I got the lines wrong. Saying you're living how you want. Taking the piss. Fucking with me now like you never were, though. On my dick, riding like the baddest of hoes. You, you must be sleazy. I dare you to rap about anything other than 
The scruffies will kill him. Knowing that you ain't clearly nobody, copying from others, calling you nothing. But compared to you, I'm somebody. Do you really want to debate that, or are you just bluffing? I don't want to waste my time any longer, so let me tell you something. You a pretender, you fake, you're an imposter. You got to get it through your skull. You ain't good enough on my roster. Listening to music about you and pasta. I got it. I knew Among Us was gonna be famous. I guess that makes me better than you. Oh, this beat was fire. This was the Dead Presidents 3 beat that Logic used, so I, I obviously used it for Devil's Advocate 2. Hmm. Crazy, it's been a year. Well, not a year since this particular track. But this was in February. It's December now. Jolly ain't tripping now. That's it. That's the end of the album, officially, anyway. Officially, it was the outro, but, I mean, the bonus track counts as well. I should have wrote an extra verse for this. I really should have. Like, it's great as it is, but it would have been perfect if I wrote another verse for it. So, yeah, that's it. That was Devil's Advocate. 17 tracks. Are you guys going to listen back to that today? I mean, I'd appreciate it for more views, obviously. Crazy. It's been a year since Devil's Advocate. That's insane. Well, guys, that is the end of this video. Um, hit that like button as much as possible can. Let me know what your favorite track was from Devil's Africa. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to dropping that third mixtape, hopefully, this month. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!